first part of this question says to calculate an estimate for the mean for these data. And that is because it's a group frequency table, it will become an estimate. Now, to work out the mean, there are two formulae. The mean is the sum of all your x values divided by n. But when you have a grouped frequency table, you tend to change that to the sum of the frequency times each x value divided by the sum of this, the frequency. Basically, you need to take into account each of these numbers. And what we're going to do is, so is this is going to be right. So I've got seven lots of zero. I do seven times zero. Here I've got 12 lots of one. I do 12 times one. Here, remember, I've got sort of this group. So I'm going to need to return to a skill used at GCC and use the midpoint um, to basically, you know, be the middle value. Some are going to be less than it. Some are going to be more than it. It's kind of going to even out overall. So if we work out the midpoints, then this is going to be three. I don't really need to do the mid. I don't need to do the midpoints for these ones here. This is going to be three. This is going to be 7.5. Okay, to work out, you can either find the number that's halfway in between or you can add them up and divide by two. That will also give you the midpoint. In this case, it's 15.5. And here we get 25.5. We don't have to worry about this one here. So I'm just going to cross that one off. So if I want to work out an estimate for the mean, um, it's going to be approximately, right, the sum of f times x approximately 7 times 0 plus 12 times 1 plus 9 times 3 plus 1 times 7.5 plus, oh, I don't need to bother with this 0 0.51, plus uh, 1 times 25.5, and that's all of them. Put this in a bracket, and I'm going to divide by the total frequency, and if I add these up, 19, 28, I see I've got 30, so we do have to do that. The sum of f is going to be 30. If you put that into a calculator, that actually gives 72 divided by 30, which gives a nice round number of 2.4. So that is your answer for the mean. You have to use this formula and work out the midpoints. Find the median of the data. Well, we've got 30 points. Actually, to work out the position for the median, you take the number of points and you add one to it and then you divide by two. So it's the 15.5 value. You would, you would actually look between the 15th and the 16th. Here, it were absolutely fine. Like it's only one mark and we can see the first seven values are in here. Then the next 12 ones are in here. So the 19th value is right on the edge. And actually the 15th and the 16th will be both in this group here. So the median is I'm just going to write it down here. The median is simply 1. Okay, no actual calculation needed. You just get one mark for writing 1. All right, then it talks about the fact that the head teacher's writing report wants to include a figure for the average number of absences. A governor suggests that she should quote the mean. A class teacher su uh, suggests that she should quote the median because it's lower than the mean. So you're making your numbers look good. But what's another reason for using the median? Well, actually, it's because um, the median is not affected by extreme values, whereas the mean is. So in, in many circumstances such as this, it's, it's good to not include ex extreme values if somebody has missed a lot of days, which in fact they have here. Now, you don't get any marks for writing that because it says um, of the class 2A. So you need to give a bit more, you need to give context, essentially. So something like, the median is not affected. And then instead of extreme values, say, is not affected by the outlier or words to that effect in the 21 to 30 class, essentially referencing um, 
this value here is what the question is getting at. 